Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing really good. So all those who are new to the channel, I request all of you to please subscribe to the channel for all the knowledgeable videos regarding the CA Inter, CMA Inter exams and the full courses are available for cost accounting and financial management and do watch this video till the end, especially if you are preparing for the upcoming attempts for November 22, December 22, right? CMA students at December 22, CA students November 22, May 23, this video is going to be really, really helpful for you people. Do watch the video till the end and if you like the video, do share it with all your friends, right? So guys, uh, finally, May 22 attempt, paper number 3, cost accounting, done and dusted, right? This is a paper of May 2022 attempt. Now, what is the purpose of this video? The purpose of this video is to share with you people the analysis of this paper, right? Regarding the reviews, I will say I've been getting a mixed uh, reviews. Some people say it was an easy paper. Some people say it was uh, one of the toughest papers that we have faced, right? Some say it was an average paper, sir, right? So I'm not going to discuss the paper in detail. What I am going to discuss is the analysis of this. Analysis means I'm going to throw some light on the areas that ICAI is touching upon right how the icai is now preparing your question papers that is going to be really helpful for the upcoming exams as far as this paper is concerned i will say it is an average paper right but yes a lengthy paper it is definitely a lengthy paper now what makes this paper a difficult a lengthy paper when we see so many questions to solve we start uh, feeling that uh, you know panic that panic creates all the problems that panic is the main reason for this paper average paper becoming a difficult paper right we start feeling that panic oh so many questions to be solved in three hours right and that's where we lose the plot that's where we start losing out on the marks our mind gets stuck and you know it is not able to understand the questions properly. We are not able to attempt the questions properly. So all those things happen, right? And it is very common. It is not with only one student. It happens with all of us, right? As a student, it has happened with us also. We have also gone through this same, uh, same journey, right? So we understand it. Now, as far as the analysis of this paper is concerned, the first thing as I always have been telling you that focus on the concept it was a conceptual paper right so the first thing concepts if your concepts are not clear then you cannot attempt this paper this paper is automatically difficult for you right very important conceptual clarity of each and every topic very 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 important so does it mean that question practice is not important no it doesn't mean that i'm not saying that question practice is not important but before you practice the question your concepts should be clear that is the most important part i have seen many people running after questions sir thousand questions 1100 question 1200 question, 1, question 700 question 800 questions sir what is the fun of doing those questions if you are not clear on your concepts there is no fun absolutely no fun I've seen people focusing more on questions in the cost accounting and telling that it is a conceptual, it is a, sorry, a practical paper. Just practice the questions and you will be able to attempt the paper. No, you will not be able to attempt the paper if you are weak on your concepts. That is very important. Second thing, second thing is theory. Now, this is a big misconception that is being created that because it is a practical paper, you can attempt 100% practical, especially after the introduction of new syllabus, right? But I will show you whether you can or not. See this part, compulsory theory for five marks and each and every marks is important, right? You will say, sir, we will get this question out in the uh, optional. If you get this out in the optional, then you will have to attempt question number six. Right. So anyhow, you have a theory in hand, either question number six or that compulsory theory part. One of that you will have to attempt and each and every mark counts, sir. Why not? Right. This theory part. So you cannot miss out on the theory in the cost accounting. You must cover the theory part. All those who are having my handbooks, theory is covered in that. Right. Plus you can do it from the last uh, two or three RTPs, MTPs. You can cover the theory from there also. Okay. Along with that. Now, 
coming to the practical part of it question number 1 seemed to be very easy very uh, simple questions question number a uh, first ka a part is on material costing which is a very basic question right on eoq but yes you will be able to attempt only if you have practiced it once right uh, i have one course that is the cost accounting all round the course that i launched it for the may 22 attempt right which is applicable for november also and uh, the upcoming attempts also all those who have got gone through that course right they know that we have done ample number of questions required from the practical part of you i don't say that the whole of paper is from that course only no the questions have come out of that course but what is the importance of that course that course helps you build your confidence at least you know how to proceed with the question even if the question is coming from uh, you know out of somewhere which you have not seen the question uh, in any of the courses in any of the books at least you can uh, do some steps because you will get the step by step marking right that is very important now the third part that is very important that is uh, uh, institute was doing from the last two three attempts also but this time they have done it in quantum right that is coverage now many of times student ask me that sir can we leave this chapter for cost accounting or what are the important chapters this abc analysis things has been going around uh, you know making the trends and i always have been saying that i don't believe in this abc analysis and all why because institute has been changing the patterns what i am want to talk what i want to convey regarding the coverage see question number 1 simple 5 marks four parts question number 2 first part 10 marks second part 5 marks third part 10 marks earlier when the new course started the institute used to do question number 2 a part 10 b part 10 that's it simple two parts now they have divided a question into three parts question number 3 a part 10 marks b part 10 marks this was the trend that they used to follow earlier right now what they are doing now question number 4 a part 10 marks right simple question uh, b part 5 marks another c part 5 marks now this thing makes the paper lengthy when you are covering more of topics you are putting in more of questions in there that creates the panic in the mind of students right this makes it lengthy now 5 a part 10 marks again b part 5 marks c part again 5 marks right question number 6 as usual theory part see the coverage they are trying to increase their coverage of the chapters making this everything this uh, abc analysis and all redundant totally don't focus on that don't go by the abc analysis and, uh, and all those things that are going around right nothing uh, you know you can predict with the professional examinations this is the coverage that they have done brilliant coverage i will say right they are testing you on your concepts they are testing you on your speed they are testing you on your practice that is why it is very important uh, i always have been saying that written practice is very 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 important and they are testing you whether you have got, uh, done the theory or not whether you have seriously done it or not now coming to question question number 1 was very simple all the four parts uh, more or less simple you uh, you will be able to attempt it right all of you must have been able to attempt it the but yes the technical points were there and in my courses whether it is ici sm course or the costing all rounder course which i launched uh, most of the questions or most of the topics which i marked as important that the question can be asked from this topic the questions have been asked from that topic this question was there in the all rounder course and i marked it as very very important from examination point of view and it came right question number 2 was labor costing labor turnover ratio very simple question and it was covered for the quarter and equivalent employee turnover rates where you have to multiply it with 4 to calculate the turnover rates for the whole year right first you will calculate the turnover rates are given to you for the quarter now equivalent means that you have to calculate it for the year it is clearly given this was this question was done in our courses right so that is why i always say whatever courses i have given you on the app also on the youtube also all these courses are very 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 important for you people a small investment can save you at least 
20 to 25 marks right at least at least save you if you have to score 40 marks you will score 60 plus marks uh, with these courses right so that is very important now uh, c was uh, i think it was marginal costing yes which of the machine should be recommended you have to calculate the profit and according to that you have to decide upon that then it was service costing right and after that question number two a part overhead was recovered recovery of overheads was there and you have to calculate for job three this was done in my uh, this course all rounder course this question was covered in the all rounder course then question uh, b part paramount construction this was a very simple question of escalation clause very simple question it was uh, there in your ici material only right where you have to ignore this actual quantity this paper is of one of the students only that is this shows one thing clearly shows that this student who's pay, who's whoever paper this is that person has the conceptual knowledge he has crossed this actual turn and actual hours right that means his or her question is correct after that it was theory part question number three a part it was uh again this was what 12,000 hours okay it was a limiting factor again marginal costing they have covered marginal costing i mean unbelievable unbelievable way in the way they have covered marginal costing again this is from marginal costing and have you noticed one thing in the may 2022 module they added three or four questions of this limiting factor this was a limiting factor question and while I was covering this uh, topic in the ICISM series, I told all of the students that you are definitely going to get a question from limiting factor because the way the institute increased the number of questions in that, it was very much evident that institute is going to ask the question. There they are asking the question, right? And it is a combination of marginal and budgetary. It was a combination of marginal and budgetary. Excellent question, excellent question after that it was cost sheet that they have covered for 10 marks this is good right it was uh, more or less a simple question not at all a difficult question of cost sheet right a very simple question where they are asking you to uh, calculate all the cost and then the selling price per unit if the sales are made at a profit of 20 percent on sales the only mistake that you can commit here is 20 percent is on sales right so this means 25 percent of cost right simple after that it is a 10 marks question of uh, process costing 10 marks question of process costing not at all difficult it was somewhere similar to the question that is available in the icism where the process one inventory is going to the process two also right with a little bit of a twist yes definitely with a little bit of a twist uh, but it was a good question it was a good question right after that it was break even sales again marginal costing sir again marginal costing seems like the paper setter was in love with marginal costing isn't it seems like that marginal costing the third question of marginal costing first this one uh, not this one this question of marginal costing 10 marks 5 marks question was there in question number 1 question number 1 uh, C part this was marginal costing decision making basically there it was and again question number 4 b part again marginal costing 20 marks from marginal costing sir unbelievable unbelievable stuff right we can expect 5 marks 10 marks 20 almost 20 marks from marginal costing unbelievable set uh, paper setting okay generalize the following transactions very simple question from integrated books integrated books simple question uh, directly from the books nothing uh, difficult yeah question number five a part uh, it was activity based costing okay question that's fine labor hours per unit machine hours per unit is given materials per unit three products volume is given so all those things you can make it on uh, using the conventional method using conventional method means using the absorption costing they were asking you here they were asking you for absorption costing here and uh, under the ABC. It was an expected uh, topic. After that B part 5 marks uh, this variance analysis. 
standard costing question simple question not at all that difficult a question 20 units and the standard wage rate is 25 uh, produce 1000 units of NPX despite 5% yes this question uh, was done in the all rounder course I covered this question in the all rounder course that is why that makes one of the most important courses where I discussed all the questions in detail this question was covered there C is uh, RST limited uh, joint and byproduct. Simple, good question, right? It was a good question, a simple question, not at all that difficult a question, I will say, but yes, uh, a good question for five marks, a good question, and this makes paper very lengthy. After that, a theory question, right? Now, this makes paper very lengthy because the number of questions have increased, and every question needs time, sir every question it's time and especially when in the examination we are in some sort of a panic uh, we need time to write the question yes so some important things for the upcoming attempt students for november attempt for may attempt for the future attempts that you must focus on the concepts you must cover the theory right and written practice is very important now written practice is very important you must focus on your speed that is one of the most important things you must focus on your speed because we have been seeing from the last two three attempts that institute has been asking lengthy papers right if it is not that difficult a paper it will definitely be a lengthy paper and that is what has happened in this attempt also and that is what we expect in the coming attempts also right so you cannot be predictable with the professional examination that is very important okay so this was the paper analysis this was uh, on the important points that what you need to do for your preparation in the upcoming attempts because you still have got six months for your preparation and you can make those amendments you can avoid those mistakes which uh, your friends or your peers who appeared for May 22 might have committed right and that is where now you need to make the right decision that what course to join how to prepare how to do about how to go about with my preparation my all the conceptual videos of cost accounting whether it is in Hindi or English are available on YouTube you only have to go for either the all-rounder course which is currently available in Hindi only right Hindi English mix basically or the ICISM coverage which is available in English also. These courses are definitely going to help you a long way in your preparation. Believe me guys, uh, from these courses you are going to get a lot of knowledge, lot of ways of doing the question. That is very important. How you can at least proceed with the question, how you can at least start with the question so that you get stepwise marks. Okay, that is very important and detailed question paper uh, discussion will do later on this was the overall analysis of the paper i will say it was an average paper but a lengthy paper yes it was a lengthy paper right so guys all the best for your upcoming exams whosoever have appeared for this exam just forget about it whatever you have done just totally forget about it that is why i'm not going into the discussion of this question paper no i'm not going to uh, go into the discussion and trouble you people for your upcoming exams right just focus on your next exam give your best in the next exam leave whatever you have done you cannot change it right so forget about it and focus on the next exams uh, your next exam is uh, taxation right focus prepare well for your tax exam and all those who are appearing for the group two also focus on that and forget about what has happened just go chill relax and uh, try to cover up all your marks in the next exams just give your best in the next exam you never know what institute has in uh, hold for you in store for you right you might get all very good marks okay so see you guys all the best for your rest of the examinations see you guys after the examinations and for may 2022 and may 23 and november 23 exams uh, we have some very special courses coming up for you people so guys do not forget to subscribe to the channel so that you get notified or you can download our android and ios apps all the links are given in the video description because we have some very special courses coming up for group two students in english financial management economics or finance uh, some really special courses coming up for november 2022 attempt do not miss out on that right so subscribe to the channel and download our mobile app okay guys see you stay safe stay healthy thank you so much